hello guys so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to connect your instance that's your server to your domain name so i already have my domain name from namecheap i just click domain list to to, to see the on if you're using namecheap you just click domain list and then you will be able to see how many domains you have so you just click manage so when you click manage if this is a new domain you see a place that says custom dns so in this custom dns you just add name servers don't worry about all this one you won't have all this if you're doing this for the first time so you just add name servers you add four because you're going to get four links from aws aws is going to generate four links for you so when you add them you go to aws and then you search for route 53 so you just search for um route 50. once you put route it appears route 53 that's how to get here so you go to hosted zone so now we are in hosted zones so this odd you might not see this if this is the first time you might not see this so um this was these are previous domains that i created so we are going to create a new hosted zone click create hosted zone so it says this is the name of the domain that you want to route traffic to so I'm going to put um, a random hosted zone because I don't this is just a tutorial video. So I'm going to put um, let's put my no let's not put my let's just put server domain domain dot server domain dot me put the whole domain name that you bought dot anything that you bought put it complete and then you choose create hosted zone so now our hosted zone has been created when you when you click create you're going to see something like this so you're going to say create record next it says successfully or so you just cancel this and click create record so it says um, record one so this place that says record one you leave this place empty don't put anything here make sure that this says route traffic to ipv4 address and then you come here and you paste your public ip so let's go to our instance and copy our public ip so let me copy the public ip of this instance then i go back and then i paste it here paste it here and then i click i don't touch, don't touch anything here it's okay like this then you click let's click add another record so that will not do it twice so you click add another record so for this one you put ww here and then here you change it to c name and then here you put in this record too we put ww here and then we put server domain that's we put the name of our domain again we put uh, server server domain or any other domain that you have you put it here server domain dot mp so uh, we, ha we just need two record record one is um the route traffic to ip route traffic to ipv4 and then record two is c name just two records that's all you need then you click create record so it says record um blah 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 was fine was successful so we'll do view status pending so it's not yet it's not yet linked to your ip it's not immediately that you just visit your ip and you see it or visit your so it will show pending just for a little while let's refresh it will later change so let's just let me show you what you're going the addresses that you're going to link that you're going to add here okay now in sync so now any if you go to server domain dot me if i go to server domain i don't have anything running there so if I go to server domain dot me, I should see my instance. I should see the Laravel page showing, or any other website I have showing at this server domain dot me. So let's go back. So these four links, this ns ns this ns this ns this. These four links are what we are going to copy and paste here in our custom DNS. And when we paste it. I'm going to click save. Let me show you. Let me copy one. So we we'll just copy it like this. You highlight it. You click copy. 
and then you come here you click paste so now this has been added but I, I cannot add this to an already this one has belonged to Roland this one belongs to Roland all school dot me so except I buy another except I, I remove all these four and put this new four links or I buy another domain and add them so I cannot have more than four links here so I'm going to remove this but when, if you're if you're doing this for the first time this place will be empty so you put your four links and then you click save so that's it so now your your server is linked with your with your domain name that's all